Tuesdays are what you expect. I have my nine to five, meals in between, but today I have some special side projects that I want to get done. But first, let's freshen up. I don't have a morning routine, but I like to wash my face, shower, dry my hair, sometimes with a blow dryer, put on my vision discs, and moisturize everywhere. And now it's time to see my desk. This is my standing desk. It measures 150 centimeters by 75 centimeters. It's motorized and I love it. But today I wanna to move it from here to here. So while I'm moving that in the background, let me introduce you to the setup. Desk mat, white. Ergonomic mouse, vertical. Custom keyboard, clacky. And everything else. Cool, everything's rearranged. Now let me check my work emails. Looks like there's nothing too concerning. So you know what that means. Matcha time. On the days that I don't feel like coffee, matcha is the go-to. Full disclosure, this is not the recommended way to make matcha. Normally people suggest a bamboo whisk to aerate the matcha, but sadly, I don't have one. So this is going to have to do. Of course, we can't forget the ice. Yummy. To make sure this isn't just bitter juice, I need to add some sweet nectar. You know, to balance it all out. Finally, we top it off with some Moo Moo milk. And I like a little extra in mine. Full cream, of course. And there you go. Today, I'm a back-end engineer because we're building a function, but not just any function, an orchestrator. This includes using Azure, TypeScript, and something they call functional chaining, meaning this has to complete before this begins. But before we begin, I'm going to write step-by-step -step comments to plan out what activities this orchestrator needs to call. It'll be a combination of checks, API calls, and mutations. I'm definitely no expert, but let's just dive into it. Let's not forget the error handling. Some try catch statements will do. Nice, looks good for an initial draft, but I'm getting a little hungry. As you'll start piecing together, I love sandwiches. So today, we're making one. Every great sandwich needs bread, but this one's too big for my toaster. We'll fix that later. Of course I need some veggies and a condiment, most of these are scraps of yesterday's meals, so I just need to chop some of them up. Fantastic. But can't forget the protein. I have some leftover chicken that I'm grinding up, and I'm going to mix it with some mayo, onions, and seasoning. I know, I know, I didn't forget about the bread. Cool, now we just gotta put it all together. Delicious. It's Tuesday afternoon and it's time for Sprint Retro. Here we say what went well, what didn't, and who are some all-stars. Typically we do these once every two weeks. And this is the time to suggest changes that could help with productivity, like adopting a style guide, writing better pull requests, or fixing tech debt that we've been putting off for so long. We'll get to it one day. Phew, before we jump into some architecting, I'm gonna have a quick snack break. Most people think that software engineers only code all day, but that's far from the truth. In reality, half of the time is figuring out how systems work together. There's a new project for work coming up and I need to make a simple architecture diagram. My weapon of choice, Miro. 
For this diagram, I need three major components, a front end, a back end, and some external services that I need to keep a secret. With this, I'll add more entities, connections, infrastructure, and some blockchain stuff. But look at the time, the workday is done. Don't get me wrong, I like cooking my meals at home, but some days I'm just lazy, or there's just not enough time. So we're getting takeout. I've been wanting to try Harry's Cafe de Wheels, so here we are. And although I'm not a foodie, I'd rate it as got the job done. One of my goals this year is to reach 10,000 subscribers. I know that it's an artificial number, but it feels like a milestone every creator has before they tackle the next ones. It also opens the doors to more opportunities, ones that I can only dream about. So taking inspiration from the largest creator on this platform, I'm making milestone videos, ones that I'll automate the release of when I hit specific subscriber counts. But how do I build something like this? Well, it's actually pretty easy. AppScript. I've used it in one of my previous videos, but instead of updating something like a title, I need to update the video's status from unlisted to public. Now, I could read YouTube's API docs, but ChatGPT was a little bit faster. I'm not sure that this will work, but let's run a quick test. Whoops. Looks like I forgot to add the YouTube API service. Let's try that again. That's more like it. The video is all set, but if you want to watch it, you know what to do. Most of my life, I've grown up traveling. Nowadays, I'm typically the one that plans the trips, but as you can imagine, it's pretty frustrating. I've used Excel, Google Sheets, and I have a pretty good template going. But I hate this one step. The search. Searching for activities, searching for food, searching for what I can and cannot bring. And a big portion of that is having a map. Maps are everywhere, but how do you build one? There's Google Maps, but one day I came across something, a watermark that said map box. So I went to go find out what it was. It looks slightly cheaper, more flexible, and it has all these different map styles. Guess we have a winner. Now we need mockups. I'm a sketcher type guy, not that kind of sketcher. I want to make sure I have a vision of what this map could look like. Flat, 3D, light, dark, white markers, colorful markers, labels, no labels, zoom, some rotation, and anything that makes it easier for people to search what to do. Now that we have some draft sketches, I want to transfer them to my Figma board. Why? Because I need to ensure that the map fits into the rest of my application. Some people might think that this is a waste of time since the app is still in the very early stages, but it helps me have a plan when I go from design to code. It's getting pretty late, but I know that I can get this feature done. There's going to be a bit of configuration, but nothing that I haven't done before. I need to add map styles, toggle buttons, and some locations. I often find the UI to be the most fun part, but I gotta remember it's the data that makes everything come together. You know the drill, back to Vercel to deploy our changes. And yes, I made sure to check the build compiles this time. I'm learning. But while I wait for everything to update, I'm gonna hydrate real quick. Looks like it's ready, but I'll let you take a look for yourself. Enjoy. Uh, 
Was sleeping in these studios and waking up at seven Took the train to college One semester was enough, I told my mom I got a different plan I know that she was worried, but I kept my promise Got the coins coming in once I checked the Sonics Bank accounts emptied out, I had to thug it out Always had a way to make it work and find another route If they don't credit me, I'm checking out These raps are just the thoughts I always stress about My only way to let them out they compare me to Jack, compare me to Mac I feel it, but just spare me, it's whack I bear my soul on these tracks I never did it for a bag or a plaque Just want the mirror man to smile when he stare at me back It's like 3 a.m. and BK with a spliff Thinking about if this is worth all the risk Is this as far as we get? Hey, I hope it isn't, cause you know I'm trying to get it Been disguising every limit, baby hey, I wasn't fine, but I'm always showing up on time Put that on mine Ay, been through the grind since my hands was to the sky I'll be damned if I don't fly I'll be damned if I don't fly